Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Catherine, and today I am going to be unboxing a new Don't Eat the Gum Universal Monsters box. I'm so excited to show you guys. I know it's been a while since I had in an unboxing video. Well, I have one now, and I can't wait to show you all what's inside. Now, I do know, it's not really a mystery, because I do know what's in this box, at least some of the items, not all of them. Um, this was one of his spontaneous sales that he had going on uh, for U Universal Monsters, and he had some other spontaneous sales. Uh, he might st still have some available. I don't know if the Universal Monsters spontaneous sale is still available because I think he may have had one left after the one that I bought. <laughs> but there is a Universal Monsters box, I believe for $50, I think, on his site. You can check out his site at don'teatthegum.com. I'll put his information down below so that you can check it out. He has one of my most favorite horror mystery boxes ever. I just love all the, the different items that come in the box and the art prints and it's just one of a kind, really cool stuff. So let me show you guys what's inside. So y'all are gonna get a sneak peek. That's what the inside the box looks like. So you guys can see the first item just on top and it's Universal Monsters and it looks like they are poster things that you can just stick on the wall. I don't know what you call them. I have a brain fart, <laughs> but it comes with one, two, three, four, five, five of the monsters from Universal Monsters so I can show you guys what uh, the inside because you can only see the mummy um, in the front but you can see all the different dudes on here super cool got the wolf man creature who else is on here uh, it looks like Phantom of the Opera and then the invisible man that's what it looks like super cute and I'm probably going to just leave this out all year round and just hang it up on my walls here in my office <laughs> since my office is basically Halloween 24-7 <laughs> so that's the first item I'm gonna save the best for last okay the the last item is what really got me to buy this box <laughs> because I really wanted this item but I'm gonna save that for last all right, so the next thing is, oh, you got the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein, well, Frankenstein's monster. Oh, super cute. That's a good picture. And then I can add it to my wall of don't eat the gum pictures that I have going on. I plan on going down this wall here. <laughs> Which nothing but the pictures that um, I get from the Don't Eat the Gum boxes. So you can see the different ones that I have so far and I get to add to that collection. Super cool. I know you can, you see the reflection of everything else. I'm trying not to get a reflection, but, but you guys get the gist. You can see who it is. All right. The next item in here is an art print. I really need to like start framing. I have some art prints that he sent to me before and I really need to start getting some, I'm gonna put this on the floor real quick. I really need to start getting some frames for all these art prints because I wanna start putting more things on my wall because it's kind of bare. <laughs> But I'm like always trying to find the perfect frame because the frames that I want are like the antique kind of frames and you can only find those like at antique shops or whatever and for like a billion dollars not really not all the time but you can't really find that at like Michaels or Hobby Lobby because it's mostly just modern frames you know 
But anyway, <gasps> look how beautiful the Bride of Frankenstein. Awesome art print and it's signed too as well. Really awesome. And I'll put the artist's name at the bottom. I know he's made some art. I, I got some art from him before, but I keep forgetting his name. I'll tell you guys, he'll probably mention it in the card, who the art print was made by. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. This is super cool. It's taped up. And it's the creature from the Black Lagoon. Goodness, it's kind of reflective. And I'll take some pictures and post those pictures at the end of this video so that y'all can get a better look at this. But it's just a mini bust and it's pretty heavy too. And it is from, uh, it's Universal Monsters. And I think this is, yeah, it's from Trick or Treat Studios. So this is really, really cool. You can see pictures. Oh, there's, there's a picture of it too on the back. But I'll take a picture of the actual bus. That way you guys can see it and it's not so reflective. <laughs> but really, really cool. And then you guys, this is why I got this box. Oh my gosh. Well, besides the mini bust and the other items as well in the art print, but I was like, oh, I gotta have the mask. <laughs> Probably it's my favorite item, but look at this Frankenstein and look how perfect his hair is. He must have had a nice haircut and nice blow dry and wash. It's been combed. <laughs> it's not all jacked up like you'd get at a store. Um, but super, super cool, you guys. This is just awesome. And you can see the cut on the side of his face and his little um, bolts really really cool and look at his face it looks just like what's his face I can't think of his name uh, who played Frankenstein I know you're shaking your head at me why can't I remember his name goodness gracious I think it starts with a B what is his name Boris. Boris Karloff. Golly. I knew it started with a B. I was like Brutus. No, it's not Brutus. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going crazy. But anyways, yes. Super cool. And it looks just like him. <laughs> it is so awesome. And so what I'm going to do with this, I bought a head because I knew he was coming. I bought a head. Well, bam. From Joann's. <laughs> and I'm going to put him on display and and all that <laughs> i never like i have other masks i have um creature of the black lagoon mask that was made by someone by uh i forgot what company made that one it wasn't trick-or-treat studios but it's super detailed and i'll take a picture of that just to show you guys too but i'm going to add it to my collection i don't really i don't wear these masks i just put them on display <laughs> Plus, it's kind of hard to really see, and you can't really eat, <laughs> and it gets sweaty. But, okay, I'm just going to deal with this later. He, got to, he has a big head. <laughs> Super cool, though, you guys. This is so cool. And the goodie bag. He always puts in a goodie bag, you guys. I'm going to read the card first, and then I'm going to show you guys what's inside the goodie bag. And the owner of Don't Eat the Gum, he always puts together these boxes. His name is Kevin. I forgot to mention. His name is Kevin Kennedy. He's awesome. And it's a thank you card. And inside it says, thank you for all of your support of my small business. I really do appreciate it. The bride print is signed by the talented Mike Skaggs of Shock Studios. There you go. I knew he would name it in the thank you card. 
So Mike Skaggs actually drew this picture of the Bride of Frankenstein. Super cool. And it's signed by him. And then, oh yeah, I haven't got to this yet, but I knew it was in the, in the bag, but I'll show you guys. The mask and the wall decor are from Trick or Treat Studios. Enjoy the box. All the best, Kevin Kennedy. Don't eat the gum, he said. And inside the card, oh my goodness, is Christopher Lee. This is an art print as well. And it's Horror of Dracula movie. It also gives you a little bit about the movie on the back, this little art card here. And I have several different ones of them that I have hanging. Oh, there goes my phone that I have hanging here, but you can't really see them. So super cool. Then I also have a Fangoria Nightlife little magazine card. And then Tricky Dicky. This is one of those baseball fun cards. And a little bit about this card on the back. Oh, and a Universal Monsters card, trading card treats. This is a creature feature starring the six official Universal Studio monsters, the mummy, the wolfman, the bride of Frankenstein, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the creature from the Black Lagoon. Can you name the release dates of these movies? All right, so let's see what else is in here. So he always throws in some candy, which is great. I can always use some candy. <laughs> More candy, woo! -hoo. Ooh, eyeballs. And a lot of different candies. Oh, this is so cute. It's a little Frankenstein duck. Look how cute that is. Oh, I love him. Perfect, he's perfect. And it's funny because I do have like, I don't know what I did with my little monster duck, but I have another duck like this uh, that's small and he has like, it's purple and it has two eyes coming out. <laughs> Super cute. Yes, and then Universal Monsters Knee High Horror pin. Really, really cool. And it tells you it's knee high horror. And I'll take, like I said, I'll take pictures so that you guys can see what all this looks like at the end of this video. Now, Kevin says don't eat the gum. These are those collectible gross space ball cards. And inside there's a piece of gum, but it's probably been in there since the 80s. So it'll be very stale and hard if you try to eat it. <laughs> I usually don't open these because I try to keep them as like a collector thing, but there's also nine full color stickers in, inside as well, besides just the gum and the cards. Oh, man, oh man. You can try and eat the gum. <laughs> it probably won't be very good. More candy. And then also I have gruesome greeting cards as well, a pack of those. And then some more trading cards. The first one is the mummy. The second one is Wolfman and it has a magnet so then I can stick it on the refrigerator or in my office. I have like a little um, magnet thing that I can stick it on in here. Super cool. And it has a protective um, little sleeve that it's in so I can take it out. I can. The magnet is not glued onto the card, you guys. So don't worry about that. <laughs> 
And then I have Creature as well. Super cool. And then I have a sticker, Knee High Horror, Clowns from Outer Space. And then I also have a Don't Eat the Gum. Boxes for Horror Fans. This is his logo, Kevin Kennedy's. Really cool. And I have one of those Fortune Teller fishes. We'll, we'll play with this at the very end. And I'll show you guys how that works. And then there's two balls, Universal Studios balls. But then look what he threw in the bag. Do you see that? There's cockroaches. Hmm. I see how it is. Disgusting. <laughs> All right. So let's open up these balls and let's see what's inside. I got two of them. <laughs> and they say Universal Monsters on them. I'll open this one first. So in this one, it is Creature of the Black Lagoon and it's a magnet. So let me open, because it's kind of reflect, this one's more reflective and it's small. So I'm gonna open it up so that you guys can see it a little bit better. But super cool, now you can see it. Really cool, a little mini magnet. And then in this ball, there's something rubber in it. Oh, it's the Bride of Frankenstein and it's an eraser. Super cute. I have a question, because I've never been to Universal Studios and um, my husband and I and my husband's cousin, we plan on going next year and it'll be my first time ever being, uh, ever going to Universal Studios in Florida. And I am super excited. And I have a question. Are these like, like, do they have like little 25 cent, 50 cent little machines that you can put quarters in or whatever? And then out comes a Universal Studios like memorabilia kind of, you know, fun little thing, eggs, you know? Cause this kind of reminds me of like a vending, like a machine like that where you can get these from. Is that at Universal Studios? I have questions. <laughs> but if there is, then I'll make sure I bring some extra quarters. No. <laughs> but I'm just wondering. But we plan on going and I'm super excited. I wish I could go to this year's Fright Fest. But it just wasn't in the cards for this year. But next year, we're, we're not going to Fright Fest next year. But we're going to be going earlier than that. But... Um, I can't wait to check it out. I'm just super excited to go. It's one of the places we're going to go there and Disney World. So I, I'm super excited to go to both places, both theme parks, and ride all the rides. And because I've just been watching everyone else on YouTube ride the rides, and it's just making me so excited. I really want to go and check it out. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what my fortune telling fish says about me. Okay, so there's different things on here. It says moving head is jealousy, moving tail is indifferent, moving head and tail is in love, curling sides means fickle, turns over is false, and then motionless is a dead one and curls up entirely is passionate. So let's see what it is for me. All right, so you lay, you lay him flat. Okay. Oh, he just flipped over. So he curled up entirely. All right, let's try that again. It looked like he curled up entirely. What do you guys think? So I'm trying to do it flat here. All right, so, and he's just f flying off. 
Curls up entirely means passionate. Well, he just kind of just falls all over the place. Just falls off. But I'm just going to go with passionate. <laughs> what do you guys think? Super, super cool. I remember having one of these whenever I was a kid. So it's been a while since I had one. All right. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this box. And if you like what you saw, then please don't hesitate to check out Don't Eat the Gum. He has some really cool boxes for you guys to check out. And then also, if you're interested in creating your own box, you can pick out, depending on value, the number of horror movies or sci-fi movies that you're interested in and leave him a list of those movies. You can, you know, create your own what's in that box. And he will cater to whatever movies that you enjoy. And uh, you'll get to see what he puts in your box. And it'll be a mystery, a total mystery. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe and like for more. And then also, if you follow me on Facebook, Crazy Catherine, I have a paranormal radio show, should I say. <laughs> I was calling it podcast at first, but it's actually a radio show that premieres every Sunday from 5 to 6 p.m. Central Time on Temple Phoenix Rising Entertainment's Facebook page. And I'll put their information down below so that you guys can check that out. And maybe you'll catch me on a Sunday and we can chat. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you have a great and wonderful week and weekend. And I hope you all had a great Labor Day. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.